Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha if you're new here and welcome back to another vlog. In today's vlog, you're gonna be seeing a whole bunch of home updates, home reorganization. I'm moving a lot of things around, I'm buying new things. I'm just using this kind of like self-quarantine time or this stay home time to literally just finish everything that I've wanted to finish with this room and with the apartment. So yeah, I will go into detail a little bit more about like things that I've purchased and I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a home um, haul later on. I've ordered a bunch of things on Amazon, so I'll share that with you. But I wanted to just share my office because I'm in the middle of filming right now. I'm finally filming my loungewear haul, uh, which I promised for so long, but um, I was just waiting on a bunch of things. So I'm filming it right now. I'm actually wearing <laughs> one of the outfits right now. The video should be up by the time you guys see this, but this is the first outfit and I'm so in love with it. It's from H&M. You can see more details on that haul, but I want to show you guys quickly, just before I continue uh, my filming, just kind of what I've done with the room so far. It's looking so different. Um, now, if you guys can tell, I moved the mirror that used to be in the living room over here. This is just kind of a temporary thing because I actually ordered a new mirror for this space. So this wall is completely plain because I moved the desk, you guys saw in my cleaning blog, to that wall and I'm so happy about that decision like I feel like I'm just so much more productive now that it's like sunny in that corner and I can stare outside and like creep on people um, it's just a good time so I'm really liking that I moved all of the pictures that were in the corner I just kind of put them here I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it here honestly I feel like that actually looks really good I'm thinking of also ordering possibly like a couch for right here or some sort of chase or something but I'm not really sure about that yet um, but yeah, this is what it's just looking like for the meantime because I wanted to film and it looked really weird just like this all empty So I just put these and they look really pretty um, For the video so and then I just have my clothing rack here, but it's actually living in this corner I just put it here because I realized that it just wasn't super modest uh, that angle when I'm filming There's a mirror like behind here so you can see like my whole butt and everything So I just kind of moved that in that placement so that you wouldn't be able to see my reflection back there so the Booty's looking good though, but the whole internet doesn't need to see that. So, anyways, I'm gonna change. <laughs> so I'm FaceTiming with mom now. Do you wanna say hi, mama? Mommy. Just say hi. I, I, just your voice. Okay. Hi, no. <laughs> say hi to, say hi, vlog. Vlog? Vlog, vlog, vlog. Hello? Hello? Hello, Minister. <laughs> it's a video. Good, good. Hello. Okay, my battery just died, but you missed it. My mom was trying to say hi to you guys. Okay. I'm just FaceTiming her. She's making some busa now, right? Okay. She got so shy all of a sudden. Oh, so tell the vlog how it is um, at home, staying at home. Are you bored? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making my, myself busy. How? Every day I cook different times. Yeah, you having fun? Yeah, very. Yeah. <laughs> bye. She's saying bye. bye. <laughs> All right, had my daily FaceTime session or WhatsApp video session with mom and dad. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of an Amazon haul with you guys now since I finished all my work. So I'm going to set that up and I'll be back. All right, y'all. Let's open these packages. They've literally been sitting right at the entrance of my door for like two days now. First thing is for the bathroom. Just got a little wicker basket so that I could put in the guest bathroom on top of the toilet and I'm gonna um, fill these with little hand towels just because I really like the look of that. So this was really inexpensive. I think it was like $12 or something on Amazon. So I'll show you guys how that looks once I put you know all the towels and stuff. I basically just got a bunch of towels. <laughs> Not to make this like not exciting anymore, but like I just wanted uniform towels. The towels we had before were all from Target. And first of all, they're not the best quality. And second of all, I just want them all to be the same color. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the old towels, but I ordered a bunch of like Turkish towels. These ones are just a set of 12 washcloths, which are like the little um, face or hand towels. And then I got a set of six um, hammam linen 100% Turkish cotton towels. And then lastly in this 
big box. I feel like the delivery people are so over my Amazon orders because I've been ordering so much. But this is like the only time I actually have that is like undivided time. Like I don't have a ton of campaigns to do. I feel like sponsored content has really slowed down lately. There's no events obviously. So I'm literally just home and I'm like, okay, I'm getting this house to look how I want it to look during this quarantine and I'm making content out of it. This one is actually also the Turkish cotton, I think. Is it? Maybe it isn't, I thought it was. Oh, no, no, it is. By the brand Shakir Linen. But this one's actually a set of six, I believe. So it comes with two of the large uh, wash towels or um, like body towels. And then it comes with two hand towels and two face cloths. So I'm gonna... Maybe not today, I might do this tomorrow, um, but I'm gonna set all of that up. But for now, actually, I guess I could do the little hand towels so you guys can watch me. I really hope these towels don't have any lint because I freaking hate. This happens to me all the time when I'm doing my skincare or whatever it is, I'm drying my face and I get the little like fluffs all over my face. Nothing drives me more insane than that, to be honest. that looks good but if you guys have a better way of placing this then please let me know but this is what we're gonna stick with for now I think that looks good I definitely need to get like a shelf or something for right here don't mind Mohammed's been drying his jeans here we need to get a drying rack but yeah I kind of want to get like an over the toilet storage or something because I just feel like it's so plain but I do really like how this looks and it fits perfectly with a toilet so that will have to stay there. Um, now let me show you what I got from Zara home because it's super cute. So I've literally just had it here. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram and a lot of you guys recommended, like I was basically saying like I want to copy this one. I think it was something that I saw on Instagram, like someone posted their dining table and I really liked how it looked and they had like a vase or a vase um, with like a plant inside and I really liked how that looked so I was like please recommend me some places that you guys can think of or a couple of you guys actually recommended Zara home so I found this which I'm so in love with it's not exactly the look that I was going for but then when I saw it I just I don't know I felt like it would really just tie this place in and then I actually don't have the other um, table runner well I still have it but I really like this a little bit more it's more of like a creamy linen it matches with the, di uh, the dining chairs as well. So I really like how that looks. So I'm gonna put it all together so you guys can see. This is like a true linen, by the way. Zara Home literally has the cutest, most beautiful, aesthetically pleasing items. Um, so if you guys are in a pinch and have a similar, not a, in a pinch, but if you guys have, are in like, have been looking for like the perfect aesthetic, then I feel like Zara Home will really have it. And oh my God, I'm just realizing this painting has like this linen texture in the background and it literally looks exactly like this. So that like ties in perfectly. So I'm gonna find a place for you guys to sit and I'm gonna put this all together. Oh, and the eucalyptus. I know I could just get eucalyptus at like Trader Joe's or whatever, but listen, Trader Joe's has like, hour-long lines outside of their stores every single day um, no matter what time of day so I actually just ordered this on anthropology I definitely overpaid for eucalyptus it was like $28 or $25 for this but it is a very curated bunch of eucalyptus and it's beautiful and like dried and I don't have to maintain it or anything like it's good to go so I can just pop this in and it actually smells like eucalyptus as well it smells a little bit more musty like I don't know it smells a little bit more musty, but I don't really mind it. And I think it's gonna look really pretty and I love the color, so. That took way longer than I thought it would take. <laughs> oh my god. I think this spout of the um, the vase is just too small. Uh, but I, I made it work. I think the other vase that I ordered from Zara 
would have suited this face better. Well, actually, this suits this face really nicely. I honestly really like it, but I just feel like the spout needs to be a little bigger. Like, I couldn't even fit all the eucalyptus. But, as you can hear, it came completely shattered. They are sending a replacement, so hopefully that comes by the time before I upload this video, but I'm not really sure. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I honestly really, really love it. I think it just kind of completed the space. It looks so beautiful. I love the fact that it's a little taller too. So um, it just kind of, I don't know, adds a little something extra, whoops, extra to the table. So yeah, I'll have both the um, eucalyptus and then also the vase linked down below for you guys. But if the other vase uh, comes in time the replacement then I will show I think I'm gonna switch out the eucalyptus um, Into that one. All right, so back to the office. Don't mind the mess I am just gonna get rid of that This is kind of what it looks like and I honestly really really like it like this It's kind of eclectic and like kind of all over the place, but in a very Simplistic and serene way. It's very my vibe But I do want to cover these things because they're just so ugly to me So I might get a little day bed or chase for this area put up some larger paintings here and then this mirror I'm actually gonna put back into the living room because I really like having a mirror in the living room but I ordered essentially like the same thing um, off of CB2 it was a little bit more expensive this one is actually from Ikea it was like only 199 or something like that the one on CB2 is a little bit more expensive it was like it's $3.99, but it was on sale for $3.39, so I got a bit of a deal on it. But anyways, I'm really tired. I've been filming all day. It's like 6 p.m. now. I also haven't really eaten much today, so I think I'm going to stop vlogging here for the day, and then I will carry on maybe tomorrow um, putting all of these posters and stuff up and seeing how I can complete this wall. So those are all the home updates for now. Look at all my friends. Say hi to the vlog, guys. <laughs> okay, you look amazing. <laughs> we're on house party right now with the gang, and we're trying to. Okay, one this is just so chaotic. Menu mirror. It's here. I'm so excited. Got my mirror from CB2. Uh, just got delivered and I am in love with it. Oh my God, it looks so good. Look at this guys. I just had them put it up here because I know they probably aren't allowed to legally put it diagonally, but that's how I'm gonna put it. Look how gorgeous. <gasps> It looks so similar to the Ikea one, but honestly it looks better because there's literally like it's an infinity mirror So you can't really see the gold until you kind of go on the side and I love that and it's such a good quality mirror Like I'm obsessed. So um, it's basically the same size as the other one I think it's just slightly shorter than the Ikea one. So I just put the Ikea one back here Yeah, yeah, this Ikea one is really tall, um, but it doesn't really matter. This one's actually wider, which I prefer So oh my god, it looks so good. Okay I'm gonna like put it diagonally how I want it and then yeah, we will go from there Actually, I'm gonna wash my hands first cuz I had to go let them in All right y'all this is the new mirror And I am obsessed. I mean it looks pretty much identical to how the Ikea one looked here, but I am so in love with it. It is so cute. Now I can do my outfit of the days here. Show y'all what I'm wearing. By the way, this is a loungewear set from Nasty Gal. I actually wore this yesterday, but I had to throw something on. They called me while I was literally still in bed. I was awake, but I hadn't gotten out of bed yet, and I literally had to jump up, wash my face, brush my teeth, throw on an outfit. This happened to be on my bed already, and go downstairs and meet them. So I'm just wearing this again, but I'm so in love. It like goes perfectly with all the decor now because everything is gold in here, gold and white. So it kind of worked out perfectly that they had this. So I will link this exact mirror down below. It's from CB2. It was on sale as well when I got it. I don't know if it's still gonna be on sale. Yeah, I'm really loving it. Um, I also didn't get to use the bathroom <laughs> because they called me so quickly and I really gotta go. So I will see you later. 
So it is much later in the day. I did some work pretty much all day and I'm very happy with my mirror. Took lots of selfies. But right now I am just kind of tidying up the bedroom. I'm changing the bed sheets. I just washed our old ones and then I'm going to put up put a new like duvet cover and everything. It's so hard to like put all the bed sheets on by yourself. So I got this duvet set. Wash. Oh, it is a set. Nice. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's just a plain gray one. So literally this entire bedroom is gonna be gray. I got it for really cheap though. Um, so I don't really care. Yeah. If someone can let me know the most efficient way to putting on a duvet cover, I would gladly appreciate that because this is literally the bane of my existence. I hate doing this. <laughs> officially done. I feel like this beige stuff doesn't really match it anymore, but I'm not getting rid of it, so. I think everything's looking good. I just love how everything matches the um, lamps, like the side table, like everything just matches so perfectly, which speaking of, also need to be clean, so please hold. much better. I just had to turn on the lights <laughs> so I could get the whole picture for the thumbnail, but everything looks so good. I love when my life is in order. The only thing that's left to do is I need to get new pillows, new like square pillows, because those two obviously don't work <laughs> over here. But yeah, I definitely think I need like two new square pillows just to kind of like complete this and then it'll look perfect. Another update here is I actually moved the, I don't know if you guys ever saw this mirror. We bought it literally last year, like when we first kind of moved into our new place, um, cause I wanted a mirror for like the entryway. We didn't end up using it cause it just didn't really go with the vibe and we actually still had like the tags and everything still on it from HomeSense. Not that we really need more mirrors cause we literally have so many mirrors like, just like everywhere. This room is the only room in the house that's like more cool tone and gray so I thought like you know instead of wasting it I mean it was only $30 but instead of wasting it it's a nice mirror so might as well use it so yeah I've just kind of had it here all week just to kind of see if I like it and at this point I don't think I'm gonna move it so I think I'm gonna keep it here I just need to clean it because it's filthy it's so dirty I don't know if you guys can tell but it's disgusting so I'm just gonna clean that and then let me know if you guys think that I should actually hang it on the wall so it's a little bit higher and then I can put more stuff down here I think it would look nice if I did that, but also like why ruin the wall if I don't need to, um, but for now I'm just gonna clean it. <laughs> wow, it's crazy what a good clean will do. This mirror is definitely staying. It looks so good now that it's actually clean. So it is time for dinner. I was fasting today. Surprisingly, I wasn't really that hungry. In the morning, I was like starving. But throughout the day, like I didn't even get that hungry. And then we had a call at 7 p.m. And if Dar was around like 7.20. So by the time it was done, I, to be honest, wasn't hungry. <laughs> But I think it's just like my stomach and my appetite just kind of closed since I wasn't eating all day. That kind of makes me very excited for Ramadan because it was a piece of cake for today. 
and I just literally ate my words. Oh my god. My thigh was there and it missed the couch. Thank god. Alhamdulillah. I just dropped my broccoli and I was about to show you guys what I made for dinner. Would it be gross if I ate this? It didn't really fall on the floor. It fell on um, the little glass uh, piece on the coffee table. Let me show you. It fell right there. So like I can eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. I clean this house. I know how clean it is. And I got it on my thigh. Do you guys see this? Oh, wait, I got it on my thigh. But honestly, alhamdulillah, I got it on my thigh and not on the couch because I would have been pissed. But this is what I made for dinner. Um, I made something very simple because I just kind of wanted to like eat and like not even think about it. I had some pre-cooked but frozen uh, shrimp. And I just quickly sauteed it in some garlic and avocado oil. So I put like paprika and stuff. That literally took like a minute because they're already cooked, so I didn't want to overcook them. And then I just made some broccoli in the air fryer. I finally got it right. I learned that I just have to put the heat on the lowest setting, which is 360 on my air fryer. And I let it go for like 12 minutes. And I just kind of kept an eye on it to make sure it wasn't getting too crispy. And yeah, that was it. it cooked perfectly so I'm just enjoying that I also made some more whipped coffee this one is a little different it's not as whipped as um, the time that I actually showed it on the vlog uh, the first time that I made it I actually made it with honey this time though so instead of using two tablespoons of like each of the like coffee grounds and um, or instant coffee and like the sugar and stuff and water I actually used one tablespoon of each but instead of sugar I used honey and to be honest I, I wasn't sure how it would taste because like honey and coffee kind of sounds weird but it actually tastes really good. It didn't get as fluffy though. Like you can see the bubbles are kind of like bursting now. It's more like foamy, but it still gives a really silky texture. And I just poured it over some ice and some um, coconut milk. And it tastes amazing. So I haven't been eating like the healthiest during quarantine. I've been snacking way too much. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's something to do, you know? When you're bored, you just eat. So I've been at least making sure that my meals, like my main meals are healthy. So that when I do snack, it's like at least balanced out. And surprisingly, I weighed myself this morning and I haven't gained any weight. I feel like I have, but I guess I didn't. But it also might mean that I've been losing muscle. Muscle obviously weighs more than fat. So that could be a bad sign. I haven't been working out as much lately either. I've been doing like one workout a week, so I need to get on that. I will check back tomorrow morning and I'm gonna unbox some packages with you guys, maybe take you guys to the grocery store with me. And yeah, good night. Good morning, y'all. It is Thursday. I'm actually just about to head out to the grocery store. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna go to Target or Ralph's. I'm still trying to decide. So I actually bought this jacket right before we went on lockdown. Um, and I haven't been able to wear it. Um, I don't know if it's technically a raincoat, but I don't know. I thought it looked like one. It also kind of makes me look like Inspector Gadget, but you know, it works. It's in the tones that I love and at least the rain will like roll over it instead of get me soaked because yeah, it's like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's really rainy outside. Um, and I don't want to, like, I feel like I should drive because it's wet, but I'm really craving the outdoors right now because I haven't, like, walked in way too long. Like, I actually don't remember the last time I went outside. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my little OOTD. I'm also wearing this mask because the Los Angeles mayor is now requesting everyone to wear masks when they go outside to just protect others. Um, you know, if you happen to be asymptomatic so that you don't, like, spread any droplets anywhere. So I think that's very smart. Good morning, everybody. I'm a fail out of vlogger, so I totally <laughs> did not vlog after I came back from the grocery store yesterday, but all is well. I just wanted to share one thing that has been really annoying me. So basically I started this vlog, I showed you guys the Zara home haul and I showed you guys me setting up, you know, the eucalyptus plant and the vase and everything. And I really like it. Um, I got a replacement like order. They sent through a replacement order on the other one that broke. Um, so I was really excited for it to come in and then it comes in and this is what I see y'all. So first of all, it's a glass vase. Tell me why they literally wrapped it in this. Like look how thin this is. You can see my fingers through it. They wrapped it in this one layer, not like four or five layers, which you should do. This is the box it came in. So like no other insulation or anything like these things literally don't protect anything and it came broken again. 
So I'm just like so annoyed at this point like and it sucks because it's literally just this part too So otherwise it would have been fine, but this is what the vase looks like. I really like it like honestly it would have looked so good um, Regardless of where I put it like I wanted to Actually replace this and possibly put it in the middle of the dining room over here because I feel like that might actually Work a little better with the oh, let me turn that one off work a little better with the eucalyptus plant But now I can't even do that so I'm like so annoyed It literally would have went with like everything in my house and there's no way of putting it back together because it's not even like big chunks like they broke in tiny little pieces so there's no way that I could fix it so literally now I have this broken one which you guys can hear which is interesting this one at least came bubble wrapped but oddly enough came even more broken this one didn't even have bubble wrap on it like they literally just had that thin ass film so at this point like as much as I love this I'd rather them just like refund me my money and I'm gonna find a new place to buy a, v a vase where they actually like you know package it properly um because if this is the second time like i don't even want to have the third time like be the same and then me get even more upset so that really sucks it was on sale as well which sucks even more because it like it was only like 30 something dollars like it was a really good price for what it was but it's just not worth the headache like i literally i can't believe they literally packaged it up in this y'all like common sense man <laughs> but yeah moving on i did get some packages these aren't really home related but i thought i'd share it anyways i got a new package from biosance just just because I've been running out of my favorite products by them. So I asked for a new lactic acid serum, which honestly, if there's one thing that you had to try from Biosans, it would have to be this. Like, I'm sorry, it's not being focused, but it's so good. I got another peptide eye gel, which I love. I finished the entire thing. It's so, so good. But they collaborated with Amy Song. Uh, from Song of Style, which is super cool. So I think it's like a limited edition bottle. I don't want to open it. It looks pretty much the same. It's just pink. Thank you, Biosense. And then I got some brushes from Sephora Collection. Um, so I've, I don't think I've ever tried Sephora Collection brushes. Um, they all come in like these little packages as well. I think they revamped their entire collection. So it's all like cruelty free and well, I think it's cruelty free. Let me just double check. Oh yeah. Oh, it's vegan. 100% synthetic fiber vegan brushes. Nice. Okay. But these are the eyes. These are, or this is the face brush. And oh, nice. It comes with a brush cleanser. It's awesome. I actually need that. And then it comes with um, some powder brushes. So I like the fact that it came in these uh, packages as well because I use these for travel and it's going to be very handy. So thank you Sephora Collection for that. And then this last package, I am so excited for it. So basically you guys know I've been really revamping this entire um, office studio and just trying to figure out like how I could best film. I do really still love natural lighting, but sometimes like, you know, there's only a couple hours in the day where the lighting is prime, especially if I'm doing a makeup tutorial. So I wanted to invest in some lights to just kind of like play around with, especially since I've been filming a lot more on my Instagram, like IGTV or Insta stories and stuff. So anyways, there's this brand that I heard of from Desi Perkins actually. She has like a whole like, you know, expensive studio with all of this, you know, equipment and stuff. I don't think I'll ever get on that level. <laughs> Just because I don't know. It's just I really enjoy natural lighting and my videos are more like casual, but She talked about this brand Glencore once and I've been like interested in them ever since but anyways This is it. It comes in a pack over here and this is specifically for Like you be not beauty lighting like you can use this lighting for anything But it has an attachment for your like iPhone. Let me just open this and I'll show you guys <laughs> So here's the actual lights this is so interesting. So basically it's like two lights and you can like move them and kind of maneuver them and they will stay in place. And then it has like this thing, which you can like dim the lighting or make it like more warm or more cool. And then this part's actually an iPhone attachment, which is a big reason as to why I wanted this specifically, because you can just put your iPhone there and you'll have amazing lighting. So I'll set this all up and show you guys because I feel like it might take a while. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I figured it out, and this looks so good. Oh my god, okay, I kind of want to just like close because I just opened up the window. I'm gonna close the window, turn off the light, and let's see how good this lighting 
really truly is. This is what it looks like. So you have the two lights and you can actually uh, control it by a remote. So this is what the remote looks like. So yeah, basically you can turn it on or off. You can make it more cool or warm. So like I wanted to make it war more warm. You just kind of press down on that. So now it's like super warm and then you can make it really cool. Sorry, I know this is really out of focus, but it's just so cool. And then you can like just go directly from like warm to neutral to cool. You can make it even brighter. And then you can attach your phone to Bluetooth. So once your phone is over there, it'll be attached to the Bluetooth in here. And then you can like actually take photos with it, which is super cool. So like you can just, instead of having to like be near it, like since I work from home and I work alone majority of the time, like I don't have someone here to help me take photos or anything. So that's why I've been taking like so many mirror selfies and stuff but this way i don't even have to have the lighting on like even if i just wanted someone to take a photo of me i can just like you know press this and it'll take photos with me or of me so let's see how good this lighting is i'm gonna stand in front of it at first i was gonna put it in front of my mirror over here so that i could film this way but honestly now that i'm thinking about it i feel like i could actually film with this as my background when i want to do like sit down videos um, and maybe i'll just buy like a blackout curtain for there or something possibly Ladies are endless. I'm so happy. <laughs> guys, I geek out at like equipment. If you guys only knew how much I spend on like trying to make my videos more better, y'all would think I was crazy. There's so many cameras that I bought and never used before, lighting equipment, like editing software, just everything. I truly love like what I do as a li for a living and I always try to like make it that much better and like invest in myself and make it that much better. So like this shit just like, my heart is very happy, if <laughs> you can't already tell. <laughs> okay, I really want to just test it out and clear this space so I can see how it would actually look if I were to film here. So this is the YouTube background I always wanted but never could have because of the lighting in this room. And now I can actually do it. Okay, so this is extremely lopsided. <laughs> But I honestly think this could work. Okay, let me see if I can. If y'all could only see what I did with this camera and what, like, actually you could. Let me get the mirror. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm this level of lazy right now because I have all the time in the world, literally. But this could work, y'all. I'm so excited. So I will see you guys later once this room is all cleaned up. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm on my way out to an event. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I am ready for an event, but it doesn't involve going outside. Uh, if you guys remember in the beginning of the vlog last week, near the beginning, I showed you guys me and my friends like filming a segment on House Party for a video that we're working on and we are still recording <laughs> this video. Actually, it might have been earlier on this week instead of last week. But anyways, let me show you guys my outfit. Initially, we had tried to actually wear color, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen. So this is what I'm wearing. All neutrals, of course. I tried to put on color, but it just didn't work out. So this is what we're wearing. I think I got to get on the, the call real soon, but it felt nice to actually get ready. Like this outfit is so cute. And it made me realize I actually lost more weight or at least like more inches. Like these pants are getting so big on me now. Like there is an actual like gap when I move it before they were so tight. Like I could barely button this up and now they're actually loose on me. So little non-scale victory over there but um, I did my makeup I did something like very natural very glowy lots of cream products lots of blush and I put the same blush on my lips and then just put a gloss over it and I really like this look I've been wearing it a lot lately my brow does not want to act right today so if you guys want a tutorial on like quarantine makeup or something something very natural and glowy using a lot of cream products then let me know because it's really doing something nice something cute this is like a cute vacation fit or outfit for a party but only party i'm going to is house party at we're about to get on this call so good monday morning everybody so i 
feel like I haven't really done much in this vlog, but I also feel like it's been going on for almost a week and a half now, so I just have to end it here. I still haven't done anything with this wall because I think I'd rather just wait till this video goes up to get some of you guys' input because you guys have given me some great ideas so far. So I want to know what you guys think about this wall, what I should do with it, if you think that I should hang these on that wall or maybe I can hang these like on this wall. I don't know. Just let me know what you think. I could get like a whole other collage wall or something for here as well because I'm, I'm thinking I really like how this looks like it's not traditional you know with the picture frames like on the actual um, drawer but I think I kind of like it like that so um, yeah I'm gonna keep it like that I'm also gonna do a whole other video basically redoing the balcony that's gonna be my new project I'm really excited to work on it let me show you guys what it looks like right now so that you guys can anticipate the next video. I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek. Um, it's actually really sunny today, so maybe I'll get started today if I don't have too much to do. But let me just give you guys a sneak peek from here. This is kind of what it's looking like. So there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of space out there, and I think we could really use it, especially since LA is uh, continuing the quarantine or lockdown until May 15th. So we have a whole nother month of indoors at minimum. I feel like it's gonna be extended definitely. But yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do out there and I just feel like it would be a nice space to just enjoy the outdoor weather, do some work out there sometimes, have dinner, like a sunset dinner with Muhammad. We can enjoy Ramadan iftars out there since it's just gonna be both of us. So I think there's just a lot of potential to do some nice things with that. If you guys have some more ideas for even that um, for the next video, then let me know. But I'm gonna stop the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna link all the stuff that I basically talked about in this video, which is probably a lot. I have to like rewatch all of this. I'll link it all down below for you guys, especially like the mirror, the lighting, anything else that I mentioned. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's the cutest little birds out there. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys can't see them. Do you see how bad my attention span is? Oh my God, they're so little. But anyways, I... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. We are so close to 360k guys. We're literally like less than a thousand away from 360k. Hey, hey. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.